Hi friends, it's Miss Wizardo from Miss Schubert, and today we are talking about Cats. Some of you hopefully came to see Cats the musical at the Schubert in March. Not the movie, the stage musical, which is way better. Today I have a special treat. Before Cats, when I went to Stetson Library, I was able to find these awesome kids book versions of the poems that Cats is based on. So Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote the musical Cats, but it's based on poems by T.S. Eliot. And these books are awesome picture books that are based on those poems. So we're gonna read those today. Now, when I went to Stetson, we also made these awesome cat ears. You can make them yourself. All you need is a headband and some paper and crayons or markers. And then you just have to glue them together. Even tape would work. I will post a template for them on the Schubert Camp at Home page, okay? So are you ready for our books today? This one is called Jellicle Cats by T.S. Eliot, illustrations by Arthur Robbins. The Song, the Song of the Jellicles, written by T.S. Eliot, illustrations by Arthur Robbins. Jellicle cats come out tonight. Jellicle cats come one and all. A lot of cats there. The Jellicle moon is shining bright. Jellicles come to the Jellicle ball. Jellicle cats are black and white. Jellicle cats are rather small. Jellicle cats are merry and bright and pleasant to hear when they caterwaul. Jellicle cats have cheerful faces. Jellicle cats have bright black eyes. They like to practice their airs and graces and wait for the Jellicle moon to rise. Jellicle cats develop slowly. Jellicle cats are not too big. Jellicle cats are roly-poly. They know how to dance a gavotte and a jig. Until the Jellicle moon appears, they make their toilette and take their repose. Jellicles wash behind their ears. Jellicles dry between their toes. There's the doggy as the policeman. Jellicle cats are white and black. Jellicle cats are of moderate size. Jellicles jump like a jumping jack. Jellicle cats have moonlit eyes. They're quiet enough in the morning hours. They're quiet enough in the afternoon, reserving their terpsichorean powers to dance by the light of the Jellicle moon. Jellicle cats are black and white. Jellicle cats, as I said, are small. If it happens to be a stormy night, they will practice a caper or two in the hall. If it happens the sun is shining bright, you would say they had nothing to do at all. They are resting and saving themselves to be right. For the Jellicle moon and the Jellicle ball. The end. That was fun, wasn't it? Jellicle cats are an important part of the musical. There's a huge song based on this poem, and so you hear that word jellicle a lot. Nobody knows what it means. One more book. So the rest of the musical cats tell stories about very specific cats. One of those cats is McCavity, the mystery cat. He's very interesting. Are you ready for this story? Again, Poem by T.S. Eliot, illustrations by Arthur Robbins. McCavity, the mystery cat. McCavity's a mystery cat. He's called the hidden paw, for he's the master criminal who can defy the law. He's the bafflement of Scotland Yard, the flying squad's despair, for when they reach the scene of the crime, 
McCavity is not there. There's that police dog again. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. He's broken every human law. He breaks the laws of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a faker stare. And when you reach the scene of the crime, McCavity's not there. You may seek him in the basement. You may look up in the air. But I tell you once and once again, McCavity's not there. McCavity is a ginger cat. He's very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined with thought. His head is highly domed. His coat is dusty from neglect. His whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake. And when you think he's half asleep, he's always wide awake. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity, for he's a fiend in feline shape, a monster of depravity. You may meet him on a by street, you may see him in the square, but when a crime's discovered then, say it with me, McCavity is not there. He's outwardly respectable. They say he cheats at cards, and his footprints are not found in any file of Scotland Yards. And when the larder's looted, or the jewel case is rifled, or when the milk is missing, or another peek's been stifled, or the greenhouse glass is broken and the trellis past repair, aye, there's the wonder of the thing. McCavity's not there. And when the foreign office finds a treaty's gone astray, or the admiralty lose some plans and drawings by the way, there may be a scrap of paper in the hall or on the stair, but it's useless to investigate. Why? McCavity's not there! And when the loss has been disclosed, the Secret Service say, it must have been McCavity, but he's a mile away. You'll be sure to find him resting or a licking of his thumbs. Or engaged in doing complicated long division sums. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. There never was a cat of such deceitfulness and suavity. He always has an alibi and one or two to spare at whatever time the deed took place. McCavity wasn't there. And they say that all the cats whose wicked deeds are widely known, I might mention Mungo Jerry, I might mention Griddlebone, are nothing more than agents for the cat who all the time just controls their operations. The Napoleon of crime. That was a fun one, wasn't it? So, this musical and these books were all based on poems. Have you ever written a poem, maybe in school? A poem could be very short, it could be long. Um, sometimes poems rhyme, like these ones rhymed. Um, sometimes they can be a haiku where they're specific little syllables. Sometimes they can be an acrostic, where if you wrote the word macavity, you would write one word for each letter. So M could be mysterious and cat, awesome. Vivid, intelligent, tiger stripes. Yes, right, you could write a word for every letter here. So here's my challenge to you today for something fun to do. I want you to think about your favorite animal. It could be a cat or a dog that lives in your house. It could be an elephant or a giraffe. It could even be a unicorn. We can do fantasy animals, right? Take the letters of the animal and write one word for each letter so that you can create a poem, okay? And if you wanna share them, your parents can put them on social media, hashtag Schubert Camp at home, or you can send them to us at schubertcamp at gmail.com, okay? So we will see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be kind to one another. Bye.